guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mobile Shabane and this is Nugget for Your Wallet, a place where we share pockets of tips and wisdom on personal finance. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and I really hope that there's something that you are going to learn. In today's installment, we'll be unpacking two concepts that are similar yet different. And majority of the time, people use these terms um, interchangeably, but it's very important for you to understand that these are two different concepts. And the two concepts that we'll be unpacking briefly today is savings and investments. Um, savings and investment, I must say that they are a critical component of personal finance and as an individual, it's very important that you strive to make sure that you have the right balance between savings and between investments. So what is the difference or what is savings and what is an investment? Savings is putting your money in um, a place that will allow your money to be stored preserved so that you have access to it in the near future whenever you need it. What investment is putting your money away in a place that will allow your money to grow and majority of the time the money grows over a long period of time. So the two terms that I would like you to keep in mind when you're trying to distinguish between savings and investment is that savings you are storing, you are preserving. What investment you are growing um, and the period for basically your money to grow, it will be a lengthier period compared to savings. Savings are characterized um, by low risk and low returns. So um, majority of the vehicles or of the method that you can use to save, the risk there is low. Um, and because the risk is low, the return generally is low. And also what makes the return low is that uh, savings are majority for a short period of time between um, one to two years. Examples of a savings um, method is putting it in a savings account, in a money market account, um, or in bonds, or in stock fills. Those are more of your savings um, methods. There are many others, but those are some of the examples of the savings method. And as I said, that the length of a savings normally is a year to two years, and um, people normally save for their short-term goals, for example, they use savings as an emergency fund, um, savings as maybe saving to buy new gadgets or um, for a deposit of a car, you can um, use savings because you know that you're putting your money in a place that will allow you to access your money within a short period of time. And as I said, that the returns there is generally low. On the other hand, investment is uh, putting your money in a place that will allow your money to grow. And um, normally investment are characterized by a high risk and also investment generally have a high return. Um, what makes investment to have a high return is because investments um, is putting your money for a longer period of time between three years and five years. So because you're putting your money for longer, you get to enjoy the benefits of any more interest and of your interest compounding. What is interest compounding? Basically, it's earning interest on your interest. If you put away 100 rand and you earn an interest of, um, of five rand, compound interest means that then the next interest will now not be calculated on 100 trend, it will be calculated on 105 rand. So it's your interest on your interest, that's compounding interest. And you get to enjoy the benefits of compounding interest if you put your money away in um, a place um, or for a longer period of time. That is um, investments. Um, and as I said, that they generally have a high risk as well. Um, um, investment are also characterized by higher risk. Maybe to use another example in order for you to understand really what's an investment versus what is a saving, um, I'm going to use an example of you having a fresh potato. So say you have money um, and that money we can basically, um, if you have a money that you want to save, uh, think of it as this fresh potato that you have. So if you have a fresh potato and you basically want to make sure that it doesn't rot um, so that you can use it in the future. You can do two things. You can either peel the potato and put it in the freezer 
or you can take the potato and plant it. So if you peel the potato and put it in the freezer, um, the benefits there is that you know that whenever you need it, um, you're gonna get it and it's basically stored, it is safe. And um, that is basically what you do when you're saving. You're basically putting your money away in a place that will store your money, that will preserve your money. But if you take the same potato and you plant it, you know that in the next year or two years or in the long term, basically that potato will not just be one potato, it will be multiple potatoes. And that's what is investing. It's taking this same potato, this same money, but you're using and you're putting it in a different place that will allow your money to grow. But what you need to know is that if you plant your potato, you're not going to get the harvest tomorrow. You're not going to get the harvest in a month's time. You need to wait for a long period of time in order for you to get the harvest. So that's really the distinction between investments and savings. Investments, um, sorry, savings, you're preserving your money short term. Investment, long term, you're growing your money. Um, the two things that you need to be careful about when you're looking at these two concepts, when it comes to savings, you need to be very mindful that um, the interest that you earn um, and where you're putting your money, you do not, uh, you, you make sure that the money does not lose value. Because of inflation and because of the fact that uh, returns on investment is low, there is a potential that the money will basically lose value because of inflation. Um, simply put, is the hundred rand that you have now will not be the same, or it will have it will not have the same value as um in a two years time because things they get more and more expensive. So you need to be just mindful of that. You need what you need to be careful of when it comes to investment. As I said, that most of the time investments are characterized by the fact that it is high risk. It's very important that when it comes to investment, you diversify your investment. You do not put all your eggs into one basket. You do not take the money that you have and just invest it in one place, maybe buying shares of one company because you run the risk of um, if that company maybe collapse or is um, as liquidated, um, that you're gonna lose all your money. So when it comes to investment, I will say diversify your investment, put it into unit trust, it's an example of an investment, put it into your retirement, put it into stock as well. So diversify your investment in order to ensure that you limit your risk of losing your money. So that's what you need to be careful of when it comes to investment. A number of people then ask the question, when is the right time to save and when is the right time to invest? What I would say is that it depends. It really depends on you as a person. It depends on your financial situation. It really depends on your goals as well. What is it that you want to achieve um, in the near future, in the long term? What is your lifestyle? Because if you have, um, let's say for example, you earn a bonus of 20,000. If you have a family and you have kids, you might uh, want to take that money and put it away um, and add it to their education um, investments. Or if you're a single person, you might um, want to rather save it because you want to go on a vacation. So it really depends on your goals. It really depends on your financial situation. And another example is if you if you have debts, you might want to take the 20000 and put it uh, towards paying your debts. So it really depends on you as a person, your financial situation, your financial goals. But as a general, um, if you are young, it is very encouraged that we start investing um, early so that we can enjoy the benefits of compound interest. As I explained, compound interest is earning interest on your interest. If you put your money for five years, for 10 years, that way you're going to see more return instead of putting your money um, in a place um, such as a savings account because the return there is it is low so if you're young i would really encourage you to start investing start now start small you don't need to have a lot of money so all those uh, factors would really influence what you decide to do with your money but as i had said earlier on it's very important that as an individual you strive to ensure that you have savings have savings but also strive to ensure that you have investments so on a monthly basis if you do have a budget 
um, or if you do have disposable income, split it between saving some money and investing some money. Um, what a lot of people do uh, say or confuse is um, some people say that, oh, rich people, they invest, they don't save. What I would say is that they still do save. Rich people, they do save. It's just that because they have more uh, disposable income, they're able to put it in investment. Investment is good for um, the building your financial wealth because, as I said, you earn um, more, there's potential of you earning more interest on investment. So if you're wanting to build your wealth, if you're wanting to ensure that you start building your generational wealth, make sure that you have the right balance between savings and investment. And as a departing point, I'll say that please, please be careful when you are deciding what to invest on and where to save your money. Please make sure that you do your research, you understand exactly where you're putting your money and you basically check the credibility of the financial institution with which you're going to save or invest your money. Guys, please be aware there are a lot of scams out there. There are a lot of people that will say that they will invest your money, that they will put your money and that you're going to get these ridiculous high returns. What I would say is that if it sounds too good to be true, it's probably not true when it comes to investment. If a person comes to you and says that put away 5000 in, in a month's time, you're going to get it um, doubled or it will be, you're going to get an additional 2.5. Guys, that's too, that's too good to be true. So please be aware when you're deciding where you're going to invest or where you're going to save your money. So that's, that's all for today. I really hope that this video helps and assists you to understand the difference between savings and investment. And I really hope you that it will assist you to make the right decision as to what, what to do, whether you want to invest or you want to save your money. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this content, please give it a big thumbs up and please engage with me in the comments section. And also, uh, please, if you have not subscribed, I kindly ask that you subscribe to my channel and that you share it with um, uh, your friends and with your family. Uh, the analytics are telling me that there are people watching these videos but who are not yet subscribed. Please, please, please subscribe to my channel. channel I really ask. Um, it is free. You're not going to pay anything. Click that red subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye.